Hello everyone, myself Ritesh. I have five years of experience into data engineering and data analytics field. My key skills or key expertise are uh, Power BI for reporting purpose, uh, the database that is SQL. And uh, I have also have expertise into Azure Cloud, which includes uh, ETL that is Azure Data Factory, ADLS, Logic Apps and Databricks. I've been working for multiple MNCs since last five years. I've worked for retail, I've worked for automobile, and I've also worked for cloud and technological domains. In today's video, we are going to learn about parameters in Power BI. What exactly are parameters? It behaves, uh, maybe you guys have an idea uh, about parameters, uh, a normal parameter. So it behaves similar like in Power BI also. What exactly these parameters are? So uh, to start with, the parameter was firstly introduced in Power BI desktop in May 2022 version updates. So it was released around a year back. So what exactly are parameters and how can we use them? So in order to simplify it, let's suppose assume you have created a report and you're trying to pull a data from a development uh, database maybe a development sql server and once the development is done you need to move it to the production so or there in production also the server or production data source so or there uh, you need to i mean if you go to power bi you, you go to power query you have to change the complete server details there change the database and then call the table so in order to avoid this process the concept of file, uh, the parameter came into picture they can be called as field parameters so it is one of the important um, uh, concept asked in many of the interviews. So in case of Power BI, we miss this concept, but it is one of the most uh, asked interview question as well as one of the important concept in pa the Power BI. So what exactly field parameters are? Uh, it's a kind of feature that allows users to toggle between various environments or various fields with the help of one single parameter only. So let's see how does a parameter would work. So I have my Power BI open at my end. Uh, what we will do is we'll go to transform data. So prior to that, how to enable the uh, parameters in Power BI. So whenever any update comes into Power BI, they are not automatically available. You have to go to file. You have to go to options and settings. Uh, in options and settings only, we have multiple preview features or many new introductions inducted in Power BI can be uh, available. So you have to enable them. If you go to preview features in options and settings and options and preview features you can see multiple preview features are, are available so for now we are focusing on field parameters so it is auto enabled but yeah most of the times it is disabled so we have to check this once this is done yeah so what we will do is we'll try to connect a sql db so we'll create uh, in case of sql db i have created two different environments or two different databases you can create multiple servers also so let's go to transform once you are in power query editor you can find in the home tab itself you can find this option manage parameters so this is inbuilt a ribbon option available here in power bi or power query editor if you go to manage parameters yeah you can see whatever parameters we have created there are three different options available here the one the edit parameters is grayed out because we haven't created any parameters so let's start we'll create a new parameter here we can name a parameter so what i'm going to do is i'm trying i'm going to connect a sql server so i'll name it sql server dev or sql server only because we have only one server you can create multiple server credentials also for now what i we will do is we'll the same sql server we will create multiple databases and we will try to connect uh, with the help of parameters so you can give a description sql server connection parameter so you can select type also any data type you want either by default it is any so you can select any so in case of suggested values uh, there are three different options available one is any value which is by default the second is list of values so you can give multiple uh, in case of single parameter also whenever you create a single parameter you can give multiple values and you can select what a default value it should have and what is the current value uh, for now we will try both uh, there is also a query option available here you can write a query also uh, so for now we will try both any value as well as list of values how does this work so any value first we will do sql server uh, we will give some credential details here so this is the sql server we'll give sql server 
connection details yes so parameter is created what we will do is we will create a new parameter for database connection also so sql db dev you can give sql database dev connection details and the value we have two databases in the same server ksr practice as the dev uh, which we, I mean, I am assuming uh, we also have a KSR production. So we will try both these DBs. Yeah, so this is done. So what we will do is uh, we'll go to SQL server. So whenever you try to connect a SQL server, uh, you have this server name and database name available here. You can enter the server name and database name. But anyhow, we have created parameters and how to use these parameters we will see here. So we will click in case if you click on the uh, icon available here, you get a drop down. So you can create a parameter parameter from here also you can check this so uh, already we have created uh, we can check sql server so here sql server so this connection would take the server details from the parameter which we have created and you have to check db so this db is for development if you click on okay yeah see so it connected to the ksr practice the development database you can see uh, student table is available here uh, sales and income table is available here so you can select whatever tables you want and you can and with the help of this tables, you can create a report in development. And if the same, I mean, once the development purpose or reporting for development is done and the data source is moved or the report is moved from development to production. So in case of production, the database would change. Uh, many a times the database would change. It would it would not remain the same. Uh, certain projects, yeah, we have the same databases, but many a times the production DB is the final DB where changes were won't happen so in that case similar data tables or similar uh, relationships and uh, whatever tables we have in development that are also available in production db also so how to uh, manage that so in, for that purpose we have created this parameter uh, so if you select any table and click on okay it would load that table and if you want to move from this db uh, so what we will do is i'll change the navigation we will select the sales and income table yeah so this is the sales and income table and similarly if you want to move once the development and reporting is done if you want to move from uh, the development db to the production db so what we have to do we have to go here we have to make the changes anyhow we are selected parameters but in case of normal condition we have to go to server we have to change the database and we have to again follow the steps if that data is matching or not so in this case uh, in case of parameters how it would be done if you go to we would create a new parameter here again so for now we only had a sql db uh, for development we will create sql db for production and ksr pro do you see production so this is the production db um, we would click here the parameter would be created the only thing you have to change is you have to select production here so for now this table is not available here um, i haven't let's check if that table is available in production okay students is available so we would check for students we have navigated it to okay students yep so this is available but if you want to change it to production what we have to do only go to source move it to a sql db prod and click on okay yeah you can see the table available here directly so once you come back so any of this table is empty but directly you can move to the production without changing the complete connection details so this is how the concept of parameters are used it is also asked in many of the interviews how to manage and how to use parameters or how to create parameters in power bi uh, this might look easy because we were focusing on a small data set but in case of millions or billions of records that data source is similar available in development as well as production so you have to move that um, you have to change that uh, credentials or you have to change we have to move from development to production so this parameter would be very helpful we have seen this parameter i will go to manage you can create multiple servers also you can change the sql server also from one server to another server from one db in a server to another db in a server that you can create multiple parameters there so what we have seen is uh, i what i'll do is i'll delete this production for now this is i guess it is used so i would change it to dev and students 
and we will go to manage so for now i'll delete this production and this development only i'll create sql db so in suggested values as we have uh, this i mean we have as i've said uh, list of values is also uh, available in suggested values so what we will do is we'll create two database names or we'll create two database parameters here itself in one single uh, connection or one single parameter only one is ksr practice and one is ksr production so this can be useful but if you want to limit the number of parameters to create you can use this list of values but if you want to create if you want to reduce the risk or if you want to reduce the confusion you can create a separate parameter for each of the database or each of the server sql server connection so uh, what i've done is i've deleted the production and in case of development only i've changed it to sql db and we have listed down the two databases here uh, you can select a default value default value is the first value which we have written there if not there is a product value also available here so it is up to you if you want to select you can select if you don't want you cannot i mean it can be kept blank so i have selected default values ksr production you can also select the current value so default value is ksr production uh, so what we will do is we will will not select the default value in case of current value we will change it to ksr practice and then okay so once this is done if you go to students and check the parameter here only one parameter is available but how does we know that is connected to the ksr practice or the development or the production so for now current value i have kept it to ksr practice so it would be development and if you go there navigation delete the navigation step yeah. so you can see the tables available here in the development and if i want to change it i only have to go to manage parameters again in list of values current value you can change in the help of drop down i'll change it to production so once this is done yeah so you can see the list of tables are reduced so it is pointing to production so this is how the parameter concept is used in power bi one of the important feature and widely asked in any of the interviews yeah that's it for this video